This is a moment of Israeli life and culture. My name is Ben Bresky. The annual Lone Soldier Center Thanksgiving event is an opportunity for soldiers in the Israeli Defense Forces to have a taste of home. Eric Serkin of the center spoke about its significance. I'm the chairman of the board of the Lone Soldier Center in memory of Michael Levin. It was started by a group of former Lone Soldiers in the aftermath of the Second Lebanese War, along with a gentleman named Tiki Out, who was the principal involved in the Jewish agency in managing and helping the Lone Soldiers. Unlike most soldiers who can come home every couple of weeks from base and enjoy a home-cooked meal, soldiers who are immigrants or orphans or, for whatever reason, have no family in Israel, can use the Center for Support. Since its founding, every year had an event around Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving, as we all know, is a very special U.S. holiday. During this day, families get together from around the country, the United States, They share a meal, some watch football games, most sit around the table talking and re-engaging with each other. And it's a very special holiday for many, many Americans. Those U.S. citizens who are serving as lone soldiers in the Israeli Defense Forces find that this day is can be a lonely day because they miss their families. They're here serving in a foreign country, obviously with friends, but not with their family. So since the founding of the center, we took it on ourselves to host a Thanksgiving Day event. And this year it'll be in Beit Shmuel, off of King David in Jerusalem. We have several speakers like we do each year. Two years ago, we had Naftali Bennett speak. This year, the Deputy Defense Minister, Mr. Alon Schuster, will be attending and speaking, along with John Medved from our crowd. And as always, we have representatives invited from the U.S. Embassy. We hope to see the U.S. Marine Corps contingent that defends the embassy there, as well as several members of the delegation from the U.S. Embassy coming to the Thanksgiving Day event. The center is named in memory of Michael Levin, an inspirational young volunteer from the United States who was killed in the Second Lebanon War in 2006. He was a lone soldier that was initially discouraged by the Army from serving as a lone soldier, but was insistent. There's a tale that he actually climbed up a rain gutter to sneak into through the bathroom of the draft center. The Army did accept him. He served in the Parachute Corps. At the outbreak of the Second Lebanese War, he found himself back in the United States to be with his family in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And when the war broke out, he insisted on coming back and serving in the war and unfortunately was killed in action. So we are in touch with his parents. I speak with his father personally once a month to update him what we're doing. And we sponsored an event at the Knesset back in July. Mark and Harriet Levin, his parents, came and visited. And of course, we're there at the Azkara every year at the uh, Har Herzl. The COVID-19 pandemic led to the cancellation of the 2020 Thanksgiving event and also created complications for the care and welfare of lone soldiers. We didn't have it last year because of COVID. Instead, We solicited individual Thanksgiving meals that the soldiers could have with a small group of other lone soldiers of maybe eight or nine people. And then, of course, we have residences that we sponsor on behalf of the lone soldiers, both in Jerusalem and in Merkaz. Altogether, we house about 130 lone soldiers. And to those facilities, we organized uh, meals that all the soldiers could have together. It works out really well because on Thursday, Many of the soldiers get off of base for their leave, and since the holiday is Thursday evening, it's a very convenient time for the soldiers as well. The Lone Soldier Center was founded in 2009 and helps thousands of soldiers every year, before, during, and after military service. One of the uh, issues that Lone Soldiers do have is that when they get leave on a Thursday afternoon, unlike Israeli soldiers with families, These soldiers don't come home to a home-cooked meal, a family that welcomes them, a bed that they're used to doing laundry or whatever have you. The lone soldier comes back to an apartment where they need to worry about food, need to worry about all sorts of things that most uh, Israeli soldiers don't need to worry about. We've had soldiers who were sometimes in bitud, in isolation, quarantine. We've had soldiers who actually had COVID, One or two were hospitalized. In all cases, the center was there to help them, 
In some cases, for example, if they were on quarantine, we would bring uh, by food, we would go to the pharmacy on their behalf to get whatever medications they needed. If they were in the hospital, we were there to help them as well. Because once again, Israelis who get hospitalized often have a family member staying with them to be their advocate with the nursing staff that's typically quite busy. So uh, we serve that role for these lone soldiers. For more information, visit LoneSoldierCenter.com. Thank you to Eric Serkin. This has been a moment of Israeli life and culture. My name is Ben Bresky. And for any questions or comments, you may email me at bbresky at gmail.com.